In this video, what I want to do is recap what we know about logarithms. So we've learned that before. Um, you should remember that there are the three log laws. So we have log with base b of x plus log base b of y is equal to log base b of x times y. Okay, so that's the first one. Then you've got log base b of x take away log base b of y. So notice how these logarithms have the same base. That allows us to combine them. So log base b of x over y. And then finally, we've got log base b of x to the power of y. Okay, the y can come down to the front. We have log y, log base b of x. So these are the three log laws that we should be able to remember at this stage. Now there's a couple of other notation things that I want to introduce here. So you should be aware that if I just write log of x, for example, so without a base number, that traditionally means that we're looking at base 10. Okay? Other things that you should be aware of is log of base b, for example, of uh, x is equal to 0. Okay? Then that would imply that x is 1. So what we can say is that log base b of 1 is just going to be 0. And from this, you should also be able to identify that if you have um, y is equal to b to the x, then you can manipulate that from the exponential notation to the logarithmic notation. Okay? So, these are the key ideas of logarithms that you will have met before. And all of these still work in what we're going to be doing, but we're going to be introducing it with a base of e. And I'm going to show you that in the next video.